My name is Stephen Payne and I'm Vice President, Chief Naval Architect of Carnival Shipbuilding. As a naval architect, I design new ships, but I also designed a transatlantic liner, the only one of its kind built in 40 years, the Queen Mary II. Quite a, a stronger, much bigger, more powerful ship than the, the normal cruise ships. Well, my interest in ships began by watching Blue Peter way back in 1967 when I was seven years old. And Valerie Singleton, the then presenter, went on board the old Queen Elizabeth, the Cunard liner that was nearing the end of her life. They actually said that there would never be another big liner. And so I was encouraged by my school teachers to write to Blue Peter to tell them that they were wrong and that one day I was hoping to, uh, to design and build a new ship. And the whole sort of twist of the tale is that when the Queen Mary II was delivered, they actually came back on board and then gave me my gold Blue Peter badge to recognise that I'd actually done what I hoped to do all those years before. In order to become a naval architect, you, you need the exams at school for physics uh, and maths. And invariably with that, you can go to one of the few universities in the United Kingdom or abroad that offer naval architecture. Now, life in the marine industry can encompass travel. You get to meet lots of very interesting people. It will test your skills with negotiation. You can be very creative if you actually design something right, like I did. And you get tremendous pleasure and reward from seeing what you've actually designed, put into practice. 